Gut. Hast du geschlafen? Ja. Ja, hallo und welcome everybody. Uh, yeah. I should be live now on Twitch as well, all three platforms. So welcome everybody on Instagram, on Facebook and on Twitch. Uh, yeah, I see already myself here. Um, yeah, let's start with, this, with the music. I believe that's probably the best thing we can do it right now. Um, let me see if I can just... I just need some adjustments before I go online here because otherwise that won't work out the way I intended. Yeah, because it's already hanging in there. Just give me a second. Welcome everybody. Hope you'll enjoy this, what I have planned for you. So let's see if this is gonna work the way I intended. Just give me a second, I just need to... I want actually to pop out the, the chat here on Twitch. That doesn't work yet. Um, I should, could have checked this earlier, because it's not exactly the way I wanted it. I hope you'll still keep here with me. Yeah. So I should be, so I should be fine now, hopefully. Give me a second, yeah. No, because I don't I don't need to see the see the stream here. Yeah, I post the stream but this goes on. Okay, good. So I'll check this later because I want to start off here. Hello, welcome everybody. Happy New Year everybody. Um I just need to turn up the music a bit here. Um yeah, um so yeah, I decided to um to do this as last year, um, hope you'll enjoy this. Uh, the mix goes for two hours. I've got also a cup of tea with me. Winter, winter vibes with the tea, summer vibes with the t-shirt. Mm. So yeah, what a year it's been, right? So um, yeah, I hope that you'll still enjoy this one with me. And uh, yeah, um, um, I hope you all had a great New Year's Eve. So that the the plan was um, that I do this uh, well in um, uh, in December already, but it didn't work out. I had to work for the first time in I don't believe in ever between uh, Christmas and New Year's, and yeah, um, that's yeah, that's very unfortunate, unfortunate. Yeah, but well, uh, I do this now in the New Year, and we'll start with some. Great music into the year. I believe that's also a good, uh, 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 like a good idea. And yeah, and I enjoyed the mix very much. I've already, I believe, I've heard it already way too, uh, way too many times. So I can't actually listen to it like properly anymore. Like enjoy it as much. Yeah, uh, Tom is here. Thank you very much for joining. James as well. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Everybody's pop-ups, insane. Maximus Prime. Oh, that's so so kind of you. But I'm not Maximus, not at all. I'm rather the opposite, I'm uh, minimal, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> yeah, so the first track, let's get right into it. Mm. Very unusual sounds for me, I would say. Uh, by the way, w when you're watching on Twitch, um, behind there, there is a blanket over my TV. That has to do with the fact that, um, that there was a reflection in the TV and I didn't want to, to have this. And I had no better idea to just put somewhere so, like this cover over it. Um, yeah, uh, the first track is uh, Name of Love, and it's by. Sorry, it's like doing a bit. If I do anything on the PC, is everything is going straight? Uh, like, I see it's a bit too slow already. It's, it's already like four years or so. Yeah, Elite Falls, Frankie War, featuring SPNCR, Name of Love, out in Club Sweat. I believe it was out in roughly April, May. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you Stevie, thank you uh, Joachim, that you joined. And yeah, um, uh, the track is rather on the deeper side, and it's I believe the only one that is... Uh, yeah, um, I really like the vocal, so I thought in the beginning it was a bit too much for me, a bit too deep, but then I started to... Um, to... Uh, yeah, uh, to to kind of enjoy it. Like I, I, I listened to it like a f second or third time, and then I love those kids chanting in the background, and uh, this kind of vocal. This give me a reason just to get on a plane. And I was uh, like kind of listening to this so often, um, like I, I couldn't get it out of my head to be honest, and that's why I was so um, so surprised to be honest. That that worked out exactly this this way. 
yeah. And yeah, I'm very happy that this worked out the way I intended it. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, no, what I want to say is like, like that's, that, yeah, well, that, that I like the track. It's just like uh, I was surprised by myself, basically. But yeah, it's like uh, this vocal got so stuck in my head that I thought, well, uh, why not? Yeah, I just, well, um, I gave it a go and I enjoyed it very much. I, I can't, uh, by the way, one of the, these, uh, um, one of these, um, uh, um, one kind of the criteria, uh, one of the sign of quality from you if a track uh, will be in my year mix or not, is uh, that um, how to how to phrase this? Um, it's uh, it's kind of when when I get back to the track after after many weeks, after many months, and that's why I enjoyed it uh, kind of so much because when you come back to a track very often. You're just thinking, wow, uh, this is amazing, and um, this is really a sign of quality because I'm going through so much music still. I don't have the time to do the PC cast very often nowadays, but uh, still, I really enjoy uh, enjoy the music that I'm finding uh, mostly. I mean, like you still have to go through a lot of shit. That's very unfortunate, but uh, yeah. Um, but when I find something that I really love, it's it's really like very rewarding. So. That's what I like uh, so much about it. And yeah, uh, let's get straight into the second track. Mm. It is, I believe, the earliest release we have, except maybe one exception, maybe later then. Um, yeah, by the way, if something is not loud enough or so, just tell me. Um, but I have to like be careful with both uh, Twitch and Facebook and Instagram, because I do this like, separately. Maybe next time I'll, ha I'll figure something out to have it all simul uh, simulcast, kind of. Mm. Yeah, um, the next track is called Delights, and it's by Kappa and Diana Miro, and that was released on Zero Free very early in the year, I believe it must have been January, um, and it's really an amazing progressive bump. Um, it's also one of these tracks, uh, that's why a track from January made it uh, into my year mix. Um, at the end of the year, because I came back to it very, very often. I came to it back in April, in May, and I knew very early on in the year, like roughly in February or March, that it's gonna be in there. Because, um, yeah, as you know, I'm a huge fan of progressive, uh, uh, also like this kind of more real progressive, as uh, some call it, and also like the label where it's gonna, where it's getting released is kind of their brand, real proc. It's kind of the, the brand of Zero Free, and yeah, uh, a very enjoyable track and. Uh, and yeah, and uh, yeah, I love the second drop especially. Uh, so when we get when we get to it. Um, so if you're in the stream, let me know what what have you done over the past weeks uh, or the past week. How was your Christmas? Because it's not only about me here, or about the music I play, but also about yeah you basically. What, what you have done, and uh, let's get into a conversation. I would love it. Yeah, as much as I like this track, because this one is very enjoyable. I'll try to get to give it the second time of the um, Twitch uh, chat. It worked out earlier, and now it does not anymore, and I'm actually very um, uh, surprised that it doesn't work. I'm sorry for the little interruptions here. But the, yeah, the melody of this one is absolutely strong and uh, yeah, well, it's, it's not going very well with the frames. I want to do something else. And I just, I'm just interested in why this doesn't work. Because it worked earlier. It doesn't, it doesn't anymore. That's kind of making me, making me sad. But yeah, I hope that everybody on Twitch is enjoying there as well, if somebody's watching there. Because they, they, they have to, uh, um, yeah. I believe it won't work the way I intended. Sorry for the slight interruptions, because I, no, I just can't do it because it's too much. So I hope that this will work better now. The problem is, unfortunately, that I don't have any other, um, any other device now where I can check this. Okay. So yeah, everybody who's watching on Twitch, uh, yeah, uh, I'll get to the comments later. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's get back into the mix. I believe this is the more, this is the better part. 
I'm just very sad that it didn't work out, but actually I I don't want that kind of to stop the music now because it's gonna interrupt the stream too much. Yeah. Up next is uh, so. By the way, I'm, I might skip a bit forward here on the mix because I'm not sure what I can make like all the two hours here. Uh, up next is uh, Pete K with "Searching You." That was released uh, on in on uh, release records, right? Yeah, a label by third party. Um, yeah, no, um, I believe. Um, Secret here that I'm a huge fan of Pete. Uh, I discovered him roughly, uh, my goodness, it must have been four years ago already. Um, and I've seen him at every ADE since then, well, except for 2020, obviously. There was no ADE. And uh, yeah, Pete did some massive work at the end of the year, but didn't, um, didn't make it into the mix. Uh, the track was called Fire, and it's actually a remix, uh, the original by Walden, and Liar Rose on the vocal. It's a fantastic track, um, and I, especially it was released in a week where it was really the toughest week of my year, uh, and I'm very happy that um, uh, that he released it, and there was really like a moment where I thought, wow, this is amazing. Oh. And it was basically his track was the only track that kind of um, gave me uh, some kind of a smile on my face. But yeah, it was too late to be in, the, in, the, in this year mix. But Searching You was released in March, as far as I remember. And uh, and it's amazing as well. I mean, you hear, you hear the vocal and, uh, and the drop as well. Sarah is in on Facebook, thank you very much for joining. Uh, yeah, finally a cast again, I would say. But yeah, I uh, hope you're having a great time there in Tyrol, uh, Tirol in German. Skiing. I'm not sure what I'm gonna I'm gonna be skiing there already uh, or still yet well, however you want to call it uh, because we don't know when it's gonna be the next uh, lockdown right so yeah um, yeah just in for the first track of my remix uh, "Searching You" by PK. Track that I very much enjoyed um, over the whole year and I also like when uh, Pete dropped it on uh, uh, when Pete uh, dropped it on during ADE and I believe uh, you've been there as well uh, or Robin was there uh, and uh, it was very very amazing um, it was a great experience and uh, it was really it was one of these moments during ADE where it went straight to the heart right so yeah Sarah and Robin greetings as well uh, I had some amazing experiences with these both during ADE and I enjoyed it a lot. Um, yeah, it's great to know locals in general. Uh, it makes everything a bit easier. And you know, Robin, I've been supporting Robin Aristo for a long, long time already. And uh, yeah, and Sarah, of course, as well. Um, and we had some amazing, uh, some great times there during ADE. We had uh, the Rave Cave on Wednesday during ADE. It was a great experience. It's always, I only saw this uh, on the live stream and never live, and yeah, very tight there, I would say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, amazing with great DJs. Um, yeah, absolutely great. So yeah, great that you're having a great time over there in Tirol. I'm having a great time here basically doing nothing, just sleeping almost. But I, I don't sleep well at night at the moment. But I sleep, yeah, I, the sleeping schedule is very fucked up, to be honest. Yeah. But when we come back to the track here, Searching You, amazing breakdown as well. Um, very atmospheric. Um, and, you know, um, the track is not only about the drop, always, I would say. The drop is a very important part of it, absolutely. But, um, yeah, uh, but I would say that... Um, yeah, that, in that case, the breakdown is absolutely crucial and yeah, makes me also very euphoric, especially when this searching you comes on and the melody, ah, that's so sick. And when I was seeing it live, it was so amazing. Now, he's producing amazing music and can't wait for what he has in store for us in 2022. Um, 
which I hope will be about a year, then this one, but nobody knows yet. So, so I check out the second drop here of Searching You. Uh, searching You. Oh, yeah, it builds up very long. I forgot about the long build up. But, yeah, hope it's going on now. Very emotional, very enjoyable, absolutely great. Yeah. Absolutely great. So I want to skip now a bit, um, because as we already know the drop here. So let me check if this yeah, should work. So yeah, it has a very long uh, kind of breakdown before the outro. And I had, um, so it took me two nights roughly, almost, until I believe 4 a.m. to finish this year mix the way I wanted it, because I really wanted that the um, transitions and everything was, uh, was very, was very, was all right, you know, it can't be perfect because, um, like the um, melodies, BPMs and everything and the keys are way too different, but I wanted it to sound like, okay, uh, it, it is fine. You know, and so that I can enjoy it as well, because it's like kind of my personal standard for, for the mix. Uh, but yeah, uh, and uh, so the initial idea was to do the transition earlier here, but then it sounded not as good. So I tried it actually to kind of really go go the whole way to the, the whole way to uh, until the um, breakdown or like kind of the outro basically. So it's coming here now, and here's. And here then start with the transition with the outro, so a very classic outro intro transition. Um, but later on we also have some tracks which are going to be power mixed, so really like a 15 kind of second transition. Uh, and yeah, um, so I, I try to have it as diverse as possible. Um, yeah, up next, uh, another track from Release Records. We Found Love, uh, that was already part of the year mix last year, but it was the original back then. And now it's uh, the GDN remix, which I, I kind of I heard already in November last year, because uh, Third Party played it in a very special uh, live stream. Deep Set it was a very amazing location on a water tower or something, uh, not far away from Liverpool. And they started their mix with this track, yeah? We Found Love to be an remix. And it's kind of this disco-infused uh, drop here. And this is very interesting because uh, when I heard the track for the first time, it was a bit different. It was a, a bit drier with the, um, uh, with the drop. And I enjoyed this version, I believe, a bit more. Um, but this one with this disco influence is also very nice, so it's not something uh, where I would say yeah, it's totally destroyed the track or whatever. Um, it's absolutely a great production and um, I believe this is the last track by GBN which was made in this style. GBN from then on uh, uh, made more um, breakbeat tracks, they released on a Juno Beat, so Juno Beat is also there switching up a bit, not only trends anymore, but also now uh, Breakbeat, yeah. But you know, if he's happy with it, um, it's very fine for me. So, uh, although he released some great uh, progressive back in the day. Back in the day. So, uh, more likes is in on Instagram. Thank you very much, Mauricio, for joining. Uh, yeah, I'm back for this one time only, uh, as last year, with no Twitch, sorry, Twitch chat because I can't set it up so that the music doesn't stop, which is a bit bad. I know, I don't know why this is happening. But yeah, hope that you're still enjoying it. Um, I just need a fourth one, but I can't pull off one now. Um, yeah, I uh, don't want to focus on the music because I don't think that's, uh, that's a good idea. Now for the second drop, We Found Love GBN Remix. It was released love, roughly in April. Uh, third party in GBN featuring Ayla, Errol Reed. Errol Reed on the vocals, amazing vocals. So I'm gonna skip a bit now here. Uh, okay. Okay, exactly, yeah. So um, up next is um, 
The track Sleepless by DoD, which is a huge success um, because the vocal version of this track is on BBC Radio 1 A listing, so in heavy rotation there. So I decided to go with the um, dub version, I would say, so the original, kind of, which was released in May, I believe. Uh, I instantly fell in love with this one. Um, because in my, I'm a huge fan of pianos in general, but uh, very, as I said, there were many tracks released, like with the, this kind of piano sound. But um, I enjoyed it uh, very much, um, especially with these uh, little vocals and with this uh, kick, with this sop, very warm. So, um, yeah, actually one of my favorites this year, and I also one of these tracks where I came back very often. Um, so yeah, absolutely great production. And uh, yeah, um, yeah, I'm very sad actually. I didn't see the UD, I've, I've met DoD two or three times for festivals uh, already, in person, um, but not this year. This year was not at uh, was he on eighty at eighty this year? I'm not sure. I guess I guess not. I guess he wasn't. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not sure anymore, to be honest, because I've, I've been to so many events during ADE that I actually can't remember, but it was, it was really, uh, you could feel that uh, it was really less people there in Amsterdam this year, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, the, um, the uh, clubs were only open until 12 a.m., and um, yeah, that was a bit weird uh, to um, call it night early, but... Yeah, well, I just adjusted very well, and you could just sleep it off very well afterwards. So, um, I enjoyed this kind of ADE as well. So, I was so happy to, to see the people again, and, uh, and yeah. That's why I just had an amazing experience here. Um, yeah. So, uh, what's up next? Oh, yeah, up next is another uh, release, Rekka's Frank. Um, I'm gonna skip this bit now here. So, because we have a very similar breakdown here. Then we have a, kind of a pre-drop. So also like when, about the arrangement of Sleepless, it's also very well done. Uh, with the vocals strong as well, if you prefer this version. And yeah. So yeah, very strong by, um, by the OTD. Great production. He has, he had loads, loads of productions this year, but I hope that, um, yeah, we'll see more from him in 2022. That would be my, uh, my wish, because he's an amazing producer and, uh, yeah, very skilled as well. And yeah, let's head over to Rainfall. And the producer of Rainfall is the discovery of the year for me. This guy's called Headcube, and he's from Italy, and I had the amazing honor to meet this guy during AE at the release party and yeah it was just a great experience uh, to uh, chat with him to listen to a bit of his set I, I, I didn't catch the whole set because I, I was a bit late to the club but still I like it. this guy is very humble um, and if you saw his uh, his uh, videos, so he's really deep when it's about uh, gear and uh, gear, like like DJ gear and stuff. So yeah, he really knows what he's doing, and I'm very thankful that Third Party gave him the opportunity to kind of show his music or show his vision of his music. And Rainfall was definitely yeah, it was the first track I heard of him. And then later I had like Polar Lights was a, uh, another favorite of mine. Void uh, was was even a bit rougher. But yeah, um, uh, my favorite part of this track, is, uh, this track comes towards the end, the last drop basically, which already like kind of fades into the outro. Um, but yeah, I like the, the different uh, like synth sounds in there, uh, which like blend in and out. So it, like in typical progressive kind of uh, like he's playing the whole progressive game, I would say. Um, uh, very enjoyable and uh, and what's about the sound design very unique so and that's why it's kind of has like um, this kind of Pete K vibes I would say as well and uh, I heard already that there's a Pete K and um, 
and uh, have you call up in the making and I am very excited for this one and um, this is like kind of my new dream call app right I mean I remember I had some in the past uh, I remember a couple of years ago or actually long long time ago was uh, Nicky Romero and Maestro for example which I both enjoyed very much and I have this drop for example and Anto is watching, thank you very much for joining for my year mix, comment, analysis, discussion, however you want to call it. With a fantastic track here by Hatfield called Rainfall. It was released on the release records this year. Like well, it's actually past year, I would I have to say, because we're already in 2022. But I wanted to do this because I feel like uh, I wanted to comment on it and want to give you an insight of uh, insights on why it shows a certain track. And uh, yeah, and I enjoyed it a lot, basically. Uh, like this to like to put this uh, these 28 tracks together, because I asked you, I wanted to, to know from you on on Instagram uh, whether you prefer a, a mix of um, of uh, 28, uh, like or like roughly, I don't know, 10 to 15 tracks, or like 25 to 30 tracks. And uh, I don't know, I don't know the exact number. Maybe it was 15 or 30, something like this. And many of you wanted more tracks, so I choose to uh, be not as strict as I used to be in the past. I mean, last year we had 21 tracks. This year we have 28, and actually technically 29, but we'll get to this later. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, and also here, I had like two, I had like maybe 35 or so, and I had to kind of cross out seven, right? So we hear now this uh, second drop here by uh, Head Cube, Brainfall, uh, which is kind of a deeper sound here. Um, and yeah, um, it was just, you know, um, the whole track is very enjoyable, and especially the outro when it comes down. I mean, we skip it forward. Um, But I, I really love the, the melody here. This da, 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 so it has it sounds like it has two layers on it. Absolutely amazing, brilliant, love it. Absolutely love it. So yeah, um, yeah. Hope that you enjoyed so far. Um, we are on track six from twenty eight, so we still have a bit of time to go here. And this part here, this is my favorite. Ah, that was really, it was so strong this year. And also Rainfall was one of these tracks where I love to come back very, very often. So, and when it was released, I heard it at least 20, 30 times. Uh, like the full track, in including the intro uh, and the, uh, the, the outro, basically. The outro is absolutely my favorite here. Uh, yeah, that's about Rainfall. Up next, we are speeding up a bit now. Um, so I would say that, yeah, depending on how you look on it, uh, I would say two techno tracks made it into the mix. Um, so I'm actually way more open-minded about techno than I used to be in the past, because usually I would say techno is way too dark and, and everything, but there's kind of a development in techno in many, many different ways. We have like this kind of new movement with, uh, which is called on uh, Beatport Melodic House and Techno. Then we have uh, it's more like house, organic house, which is very deep, but it's actually not techno anymore. And yeah, we have like this um, a raw deep hypnotic techno, which actually used to be there already. And uh, but actually, I I love the track from that was very raw, a raw techno track, but it was already released in 2020, so I didn't want to take this one. And also like it has 136 BPM, which is also very tough. But yeah, we will have another one that was released this year, which I enjoyed as well. I decided to go with Balearic Mornings by uh, Hilo and Rainier, Rainier Sonnewelt. Um, it was released on Filth on Acid, the label by Rainier Sonnewelt. And I decided to, or um, well, not decided, there are actually kind of a two versions of this track. And this one is the one a bit more sped up, I would say. It's like at around 133 BPM or so. And uh, yeah, it was very, very enjoyable this year to. Um, to kind of listen to this because it has a very strong drop and it's very powerful and 
has a bit of a of this me melodic vibe in here. Yeah, really like I kind of feeling this Ibiza vibe a bit on this one. So uh, DPs is in the chat uh, or like is on Instagram. Jacob is on is in the chat. Happy New Year, everybody! Thank you very much for joining. On Hilo and the Rainy Solar Band with Balearic Mornings. There's so many aspects in there, like these little strings there, uh, for example. And uh, yeah, in general, a very enjoyable uh, techno track here. If you can want to call it this way, but I believe yeah, it is kind of a melodic techno, I would say. Uh, yeah, and of course, what I also very like about the track is uh, the vocal here. Uh, which is, yes, it's a spoken vocal. Um, I'm not sure, like, I didn't uh, look up whether it's, it's, it's kind of a cover or a sample, or I don't know, maybe somebody in the chat knows. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure what I can find this info, to be honest. But yeah, we skip a bit forward to the vocal here. I will close my eyes tonight. Yeah. I, 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 I did not go to. Um, I haven't been to Ibiza this year, or like this past year, but I'm definitely sure I'm definitely gonna be there one day again. So I'm definitely planning it uh, in summer, so July or August. Uh, yeah. I'm loving these Balearic mornings. Ah, this is amazing. I love this one. And also one of these tracks where I really, uh, in Canada, um, the build-up was very well made and it really built the anticipation for the drop. Uh, and this is uh, also one of these uh, uh, quality, like kind of criteria, quality criteria that uh, the arrangement makes up a lot, basically. So I believe that many producers, especially when you're more commercial, totally underestimate this. At least for me, like maybe the younger generation doesn't care anymore as much, but. If you have a great build-up, um, then it builds really anticipation and the drop has a bit even more power. So, yeah. And this, in that case, with this vocal, it's, it's very well made. So, um, that's also one of the criteria why it made it in, into the list. And, of course, that I like this kind of a pitched version a bit, or faster version a bit more. And that's why I took this one. I prefer this one over the... I believe because if, I believe you can't find even this specific version on, on Spotify because it's kind of a, it's two different versions and I, I don't know why that happened but I kind of uh, prefer this one. It's just uh, I enjoy it just more. And yeah, there's another techno track um, and uh, this is a surprise to me myself because it's a track by Charlotte De Witte and. Um, and um, I'm, I have mixed feelings about Charlotte Vita. Many people uh, really say that oh, she's very hyped now in the scene. Uh, I saw her live during uh, ADE in, in, a, in a chat, and she looked, uh, she, she presented herself very reserved, I would say, very, um, um, very uh, shy, I would say, and that she's kind of, and also a bit of arrogant. I don't know, like, it was very strange. Maybe she's not like this in real life, but I just know it's just a very weird feeling about her. And I like the I like the track Doppler that you can hear in the ground, very strong bass here, uh, because well I like the Formula One topic. Uh, it's very unusual. It's something really out of the box, and uh, and yeah, I also like the mix down, the uh, arrangement. So it also has a bit of this kind of progressive feeling there. Um, uh, so it really like builds up from one element to the other and uh, yeah, and it's in general just it's a very kind of uh, when it's about the baseline a very strong track really goes forward really want makes you want to shake makes you want to dance uh, And yeah, it's all what's about electronic what it's all what electronic music is about, right? So um, I really enjoyed this one uh, over the past year and uh, Which is very unusual for me because usually I don't listen to this kind of techno but this track was very unique, very unusual, and that's why it's also in my um, uh, top 20 track of the year, especially also this part here. Oh, I saw I saw this one meme that was amazing, uh, which kind of uh, uh, the, the fists of, of, of doom, that he kind of dancing like this on techno, <laughs> this was, it was very fun to watch. <laughs> I found it on Instagram, someone sent it to me. Um, 
Yeah, the fists of doom. And actually, it, it actually sounds like it's actually it's a very strong uh, triumph when it's about the um, bass line and everything. So, and yeah, the Formula One topic with this, um, this kind of uh, engine that goes by. Uh, yeah, very creative. Um, because, for example, uh, uh, she, so she's together with um, uh, Enrico San Giuliano, I believe it's even her fiance now. I'm not sure what I'm updated on this. Uh, um, but she's from Belgium, he's from Italy. And um, and they did they did this Age of Love remix together, Move Your Body, Dance With Me, I like this. And this was, uh, I believe, on number two, uh, the uh, best-selling tracks on Beatport. Number one is was Do It To It. You won't uh, you won't hear this one tonight. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, because for me this is like this is, this is, the vocal is just too cheesy for Do It To It. And uh, and uh, yeah and. Yeah, I really enjoyed the, um, the track in general, so I did really more because Age of Love was really, it was not a good track for me. Um, I did not enjoy it as much as, as this one. So Doppler is definitely, yeah, definitely a sick track and uh, absolutely enjoyed it. Yeah, um, let's maybe skip a bit forward. Uh, also here, um, yeah, so this part here was the most challenging in my whole mix. Um, how do I come from 100? 35 or 36 BPM down to 128 again, and I kind of uh, managed it kind of normally. I just kind of EQ'd the next track in uh, and tried to do like a rather quick, um, a quick transition here, uh, and, and I went basically to the full outro. So it sounds a bit rough here, and this in, in this in this part here. But I did not did not have any other idea how to do this transition. This is exactly what I mean. Like, is there's there's a point in, in in the mix where I just you know I just can't make it better because I I choose the tracks uh, I, like I, I chose the tracks based on 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 what I what I feel right. So I did not I did not uh, uh, choose it on how they fit in the mix the best way right. So, yeah, I see uh, Eric is in, Jung is in, thank you very much for joining. I'm so mad. I did not meet Jung in Amsterdam. It did not work out, and I'm actually a bit, a bit mad about it. But yeah, hopefully next year, if it's happening in October, but now with Omicron, you don't know and You cannot, like, guys, the time is over where you can plan at anything outside the next one or two weeks, right? You cannot plan three months in advance. Impossible because you don't know how the pandemic will go in the next three months, right? And for example, that's why I'm very, I was very sad that one of my uh, favorite people, um, uh, Sabrina, for example, or other or her uh, girls, could not go to Amsterdam simply because some of them work on their own, like on their own, right? So uh, they're like a one-person uh, company, and they have simply to plan three to four. Their, their vacation three or four months in advance and as back then you know in when they wanted to plan it in april or in no no maybe not april let's say i don't know july august whether to go to ade on uh, in in october it was simply not possible because we did not know how the situation back then in will be in three months right uh, in october with like the pandemic situation so I was very lucky because I uh, could take like those three or four days off from work uh, and I planned it really like uh, a week before. I booked the hotel a week before, I booked um, uh, the flight a week before in advance because well, most the only possible way like to go to ADE because you cannot plan it three months in advance, right? So you didn't know, was it happening, was it not happening, in which way was it happening, you know, it was very uncertain. But then when I heard it was possible to do in uh, uh, in uh, in um, uh, yeah like in whether it's happening or not and, and then when they decided okay it's going only until midnight then I thought okay good let's do it and uh, I'll meet some people and it will be fun and it was amazing I loved it uh, even like in this in this kind of way so Eric is writing your mixes are hard I tried to make one 13 and 14, but never finish them, yeah? Yeah, exactly, mine is also two hours long, but it was kind of easy for me. Uh, easy in the sense of, um, what, 
so if I really have feelings for a track, um, and uh, and it, and I really so she three criteria for for my emixes for the tracks. Uh, Number one criteria, which is which actually beats all the others, personal experience with the track. So like live experience with the track. So if someone, for example, plays the track live and I experience the track, and my number two, for example, is that um, actually it should be number one because personal experience. But it was not. But the feelings for number one were, were just too strong in my opinion, um, and that's why you know one. But I'll I'll get to this. Uh, ah yeah, you are called Sebastian. Exactly. Thank you. Very much. Sorry about that. Yeah, exactly. We already had this discussion. So Sebastian, you wrote, uh, yeah, became two or three hours long. Yeah, mine is also two hours this year. And uh, to be honest, I'm not very happy about it because I want to... I did not manage, I heard, I heard it very often already, but I did not manage to uh, listen to it in one, one session. I always listen to it like, let's say, 30 minutes and then 90 minutes, but never like the full two hours because I was always busy and I was very happy. I managed to, to mix it... Uh, in two nights, like in one night the mix and then the uh, kind of um, uh, the corrections of my uh, kind of uh, um, uh, transitions and so on, it was an another night, and then cutting it all, to like editing it all together and everything so that it sounds exactly the way I want it. Uh, so yeah, uh, but I was very happy because it really gave me some uh, some. Uh, some power, some kind of a positive vibes for the last week of the of the year, <laughs> or the last two two weeks of the year. So I I, I was listening to the to the to the, to the mix. And I was so proud of myself, actually for no reason, but like for the reason that I really I made myself happy. And this is so rare nowadays because uh, yeah, uh, the pandemic hit us as a family as well very hard. And this was one one of these moments where I thought, wow, it makes me so happy. I'm so proud of myself that I pulled this off. Um, yeah, and actually, I talked the whole time now, but not about the track we're just playing in the background. It was by uh, Dead Mouse called Nextra, and I believe it's the third time in a row that Dead Mouse appeared in my year mix. It was two years ago. It was Monophobia, one of, one of my all-time favorites by him. Then we had uh, last year a Bridge by Lightwave together with Keisha on the vocals. Amazing track as well. Love the drops on this one. And this year it's next song, um, which opened up the label House Trap, I believe it was the second release, the first one was by Tommy Trash. And House Trap is a, a great, I would say, addendum or a supplement to, uh, to Mouse Trap. And I believe we're gonna hear many, many more amazing releases of House Trap. It's a great home for, for this kind of music, for the more progressive side of House. And yeah, up next, uh, James Hype with Dancing. Do I sing to a... And this track is my secret weapon of ADE. So, and this is a great example of um, how to phrase this. It was released on the at the right time, at the right in the right place, I would say. Because if, if it was not released during ADE uh, and in the, like the week before ADE, and if, if, if I was not in ADE back then, but I was running around in the streets and I had this track in my headphones, and it was just so powerful and I loved it so much. And I believe, I believe, in, if, you, if you check it on Beatport, it's in the techno genre. But for me, it does not sound like techno. For me, it's kind of a dance track, I would say. So yeah, sing is in. Thank you very much for joining. Great to have you here uh, for this uh, special occasion here, my year mix uh, 2021, or how I uh, named it 28 tracks that kept my level of optimism high in 2021. Because yeah, uh, it was a better year than 2020. I've been to a couple of clubs, I've been to a summer festival, I've been to ADE, and I really, really enjoyed it. All three things. So yeah, thank you very much everybody who's joining over on Instagram. I uh, hope you're enjoying it here with uh, James Hype and Dancing that was released in October on Musical Freedom. Yeah, the label by Tiesto. Um, with an amazing vocal, with an amazing drop. Let's just keep a bit forward, I would say. Yeah. We start to move. <laughs> and I really love Aichi how he really took the time with the uh, with the vocal and then we have really silence and then the vocal even hits even harder so yeah very enjoyable i enjoyed it a lot yeah so 
so yeah, what's up next? Up next is also one of these tracks where I would say um, that has to do with um, with uh, personal experience. Um, but I gotta say, the track was amazing as well. Uh, it's it's actually a remix uh, by Dennis Koyo. The original is by Artie, featuring April Bender. Sunrise is called the track. And I believe it was released in August or September. And I also heard this on um, on uh, on uh, yeah, during his AD set. And I have a picture with Dennis Koyo. And I've been supporting him for I mean, it must have been now ten years. And it's this year that I have a picture with him, and I'm so proud of this. Hit me with those laser beams. Yeah, and that's why it's actually very creative. Absolutely amazing. Very enjoyable. So yeah, I hope that you uh, that you're enjoying the mix so far. Um, I hope that you heard it already on Mixcloud. Uh, I believe there are like 24 plays or so. And uh, my family loves it as well. My brother loves it. My uncle loves it because uh, what we did is we heard it um, before uh, the Christmas uh, dinner um, at, on uh, December 24th. And because my my brother didn't want to hear Christmas carols because he's done with them. <laughs> uh, and you know we have like to cook still. Like we have to we have to prepare everything, the table and, and stuff. And then because uh, in like a, a some of you may know I'm originally from Poland, or like my parents are from Poland, but I'm born in Vienna. And uh, we we are having a typical um, uh, Polish Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve, on December 24th. And with loads and loads of, um, of meals. And yeah, we have to prepare. Right? So my mom is preparing, I'm preparing, my brother is preparing, my grandma is preparing, uh, of course, and is sending it sending her stuff from Poland to us uh, so it's so it tastes like homemade right because we don't want actually to buy stuff and just serve it because we want we wanted to have it homemade and of course it takes time and during this these preparations of December 24th uh, I asked my brother well do you want to listen to my ear mix and, and stuff because I really took some effort to, to kind of make it happen and, and, and mix it and stuff and record it and he said yeah sure everything is better than Christmas carols <laughs> That's what he said, and and then and then well yeah we heard the, the of course on the rather low volume and then my uncle came in later one hour into the mix uh, and he said well because he's also into electronic music a bit uh, he's for example a huge fan of Tiesto uh, and but he's older obviously he's like how old is he forty five to fifty I don't don't know exactly and uh, and yeah he liked it as well so yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. I saw Yasin is talking about the collaboration, the possible collaboration, Alesso and Denis Koyo, right? Uh, and yeah, I believe uh, I heard it already in his story, and it sounds very, very promising. And this kind, exactly, and this remix reminds me also a bit of uh, Alesso, yeah. Maybe these laser beams are not very usual, I would say, for him. But oh well, yeah. Pikyo, pikyo, pikyo. Yeah, but he's kind of. Uh, he's Remaining like, like the lead, yeah. Remaining kind of the um, original melody, right? Mm. I enjoy it a lot. <laughs> melody uh, is like a great harmony here to the to the original, uh, like to the, like to the kind of laser laser uh, shots there in the background. I call them. And this part is amazing. So the whole track is absolutely great. And yeah, up next is also a track that uh, is in there because of um, because of uh, personal experience. Because I heard the track for the first time during ADE um, at um, at uh, at the at uh, Escape Club exactly because um, there was the protocol night at Escape Club and. This is the Nico Romero remix of Pyramids, the original by John Dahlbeck. And check out how creative this is. It's so creative with these drums there, and so I absolutely enjoyed it. And it was released in November, but uh, it, 
because I had this personal experience, I thought, wow, this is amazing, and I kind of edited it, although it's November, is very late, to have like an impact on the whole year, but I had this personal experience, and I really enjoyed it when he dropped it for the first time, and then I thought, okay, let's do it, and I believe he played it, um, I believe he played it, I'm not sure whether he played it in his uh, set, uh, because I went there and forth uh, during protocol, but he was then later uh, with Sanyu James and Ryan Marciano, and their set, wow, was amazing, I loved it, and the, the club was packed, really, it was really, the club was full, 100% capacity, like, and, uh, and yeah, back then there was no Omicron, and I mean, Delta was already here, but not, uh, there were not many cases in the, uh, in the Netherlands, I believe. Yeah, um, uh, Happy New Year by Gata Foley, thank you very much. Uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm not reading music uh, um, tonight, unfortunately, because I want to only go through my year mix. Um, and that's, uh, that's very unfortunate, because actually I want to come back to the regular PC cast, how I used to do them two years ago or so. But, uh, well, I have, I'm having now four days off, uh, because probably I'm gonna I have to go to work on Friday, probably. Because on Tuesday there's a, a sorry, first day there's a holiday in Austria. But this drop is so amazing. Very enjoyable. And uh, probably have to work on Friday again. Um, but maybe not, hopefully not as long. Hopefully. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I'll definitely send the track to me, and I will, uh, I will definitely give you, give you some feedback offline, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, very creative when it's about this track here by uh, John Dahlbeck, or like by Nicky Romero in the remix. Remixing the classic Pyramid, I believe, it's already, it must have been released in 2010 or so, the track is the original, it's very old already. And yeah, released on Spinning, but I don't want to actually waste too much time with this label as well. Spinning is not, let's put, let's say maybe one sentence, but Spinning is not as it used to be. Not anymore. Since I believe Warner bought it, um, yeah, very much music on there, very much music that I don't like, but two tracks made it into to the year mix. This was one, and the other one is actually, maybe I can tell already, my favorite track of the year. So if I had to choose one track, it was, yeah, it was the one that was released on Spinning, which is a bit unfortunate, but yeah, well, I can't. I can do anything, I cannot do anything about it, unfortunately. Um, so, Must Ghost Festivals 2022, noise, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, well, <laughs> there are none because we don't know whether they are happening or not. I mean, not yet, um, I would say. Uh, my dream was to go to Ultra Music Festival in Miami, but we don't know whether this is happening because. Well, now with Omicron, everything is uh, unpredictable, right? So, yeah, it's very unfortunate. So, I'm not, I'm not sure whether I'll be going to any summer festival yet. Uh, but I, I would love to go to clubs again. So clubs would be my, my dream, definitely. So up next, Paradise uh, by, of course, Medusa and Dermot Kennedy on the vocals in the uh, Vintage Culture Remix. And this track, um, yeah, I, I love the original, but I cannot find a, a remix for a long time that kind of made it uh, kind of listenable for me, or to me. And yeah, a Vintage Culture made it happen. Mm. So yeah, in general, um, I believe you're called uh, Jakob. Um, I'm not that guy for festivals in general, so I... Uh, now, this this Mahach festival, for example, where I've been uh, this past uh, summer, in August, I believe, that was kind of a um, coincidence, or it was very spontaneous, it was a very spontaneous decision, but I did not uh, regret it, it was really amazing, I've been there with a friend of mine, and we had a great time, uh, actually one of the reasons I wanted to go there was Tom Starr, but uh, one of my favorite producers, and, but he was not there, he preferred to go to Creamfields. <laughs> And I believe back then, in, or I believe mean, they are still there, the, the, the quarantine restrictions when you are entering the UK are very strict and Tom is re resident, is, his residence is on Ibiza, so it's very tough to, to go there, especially after Brexit, my goodness, UK. That's a whole different story. 
Uh, well, yeah, back to the track, Paradise Vintage Culture Remix. I very much enjoyed the uh, vocals and a very unpopular opinion, in my opinion, Dermot Kennedy cannot sing. Yeah, like not, not in the sense of like he's very, he's having a very individual kind of voice. I would say, it's, like it's, uh, I mean, I, I have the feeling that I can even parody him. I don't know for some reason. Yeah, but uh, but actually, uh, his track "Outnumbered" is kind of my guilty pleasure. I would say. Uh, it's, very romantic song, I would say, and that's what, where I got to know him, I believe. But then, and then later, he was uh, known for his collaboration with uh, uh, Medusa. Hmm. Medusa, as some of you may know, um, is um, is Sam and Janna and Manuel and a third guy. Um, so I know Sam and Janna and Manuel for a very long, long time already. Um, so they used to be. Uh, at Susumi Records in the beginning, it was one of the first releases. Kids back then, and DeLorean, two releases back then. Um, yeah, and we're already halfway through it, so if you're still in here, uh, thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this uh, review here of my 28 tracks that kept my level of optimism high in 2021. This is cast special. Uh, once a year, but every year since last year. And up next, we have. Um, one of these tracks where I really, really love to come back very often after the release. And this was uh, another Mickey Romero track, but this one now he's the original artist, together with Mark, featuring Wolf on the vocals. The track is called simply OK. And it's the Stadium X remix, and it was released on Protocol Recordings. Um, and yeah, what I like so much about the track is uh, it has three drops, which is very unusual nowadays for this kind of music, because it's Sounds a bit like Future House to me, it's like mix of Future and Progressive. And um, well, uh, same X used to do like music like this, I would say. Mm, but yeah, uh, like they like, used to do more melodic. That's what I want to say. And this this kind of sound wanted kind of to try. They tried to come back to this sound with a bit like more uh, 2021 approach, I would say. But yeah, I enjoyed it very much, and uh, they also uh, um, added the vocals here very nicely. Um, so, yeah, a very great production in general, uh, also with the vocal. So yeah, the vocal is very strong. You should have called the track OMW on my way, like like the one by Excellent Grosso. Yeah, Excellent Grosso, uh, this will be a topic, yeah, uh, towards the end of the show, I would say. Yeah, very cool drop, uh, very enjoyable. I love to, to go to, the, to come to this track very often during the year. Yeah. yeah, so absolutely cool, and you can already hear it. there's like this next uh, uh, breakdown here with the vocal, and then they drop for the third time. And this is very unusual, um, but yeah, for that kind of music, very refreshing. Very, very cool. So yeah, that was very, very enjoyable, this track. And up next, um, it's definitely a track which uh, would have been, for sure, um, very often. Uh, like, yeah, definitely, like, if, if I had to, let's say, a mix of 15 tracks, I'm not sure whether this one would have made it, but the next one, for sure. The next one is uh, was Love at Second Sign, I would say. Um, but, by the way, I also, I also love the transition here. Yeah, also the outro is also very nice in this one. Here, okay. So, yeah. So, the next track is called, you can already hear in the background, Step Grandma. And the original is by Salvatore Ganacci. It was released on his own label, Satara. And, uh, yeah. Salvatore Ganacci is really, is, is, it's a personality, I would say. It's really a very unique personality uh, in our scene, and uh, 
Actually, I believe this is one of the very few tracks where really the video clip made me fall in love with this one. And actually, what, uh, how he's like kind of shuffling through the uh, forest here on this part. Uh, yeah, and, the, and he also is using a vocal there. And the vocal is a Eurodance, a Swedish Eurodance vocal from the 2000s. And he's kind of pitching it down for this release. And, uh, and yeah, it, it made me kind of learn Swedish somehow. <laughs> um, Slip into a target. It goes something like this. <laughs> yeah, there it comes in the background. Slip into a target. Into a target. So yeah, uh, um, so the video is kind of a, a, a new interpretation of Hansel and Gretel. Um, the, um, uh, the like the fairy tale, I would say. Oh. Okay, I have to restream the start. I have like to start the restream for some reason. Uh, sorry, I have to. So, okay. I should be live now here. Um, yeah, because the one hour is over and I'm, I can still go on live on. Uh, yeah, I'm still live here on Instagram and on Facebook, so that's fine. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Amazing track, and also like uh, with this drop here that, that, that is coming up. Yeah, so yeah, it was very enjoyable, uh, and also like a great track to dance to. Uh, and as you know, I love tracks where I can dance on it, so yeah, very, very amazing. Yeah. Absolutely one of my favorites this year, especially like with the, with the video clip. If, you, if you've seen this, brilliant, brilliant. So yeah, so yeah. Um, I believe I, 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 I believe at one point this year I was uh, writing a long, long story uh, because someone commented on my Instagram about so I posted something about Salvatore like Ganacci and how much I love this track. That, that some people think that his humor is staged. And to be honest, I don't care. Uh, and this is like very unfortunate what, what has happened over the past years, that people do not accept a, um, a kind of a um, stage persona anymore. Because everybody has to be themselves on stage or like in real life or, or like even... And you know, and uh, this, yeah, this, this doesn't work anymore. This is very, very unusual, I would say. Um, yeah. So, yeah. All right. Um, that's Vital Science now in the background um, by uh, JP Candela and Victor Gade. I had this huge honor that Victor Gade sent this track to me this year, and I wanted to give it a shout out here because it was really a track that I love to listen to, which where I came back very often. And yeah, and I really enjoyed this one uh, over the past year. This amazing kind of a mix of future and progressive. I really love this future progressive sound. This is like very something something unique. Yeah. So and also has a one of also a great vocal to it. So yeah. Check. Um, I'm opening up again another. If I'm doing something besides streaming here, I'm done. Yes. <laughs> Um, so next time I, I need a second laptop, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out something <laughs> for the for the for the next time. Um, yeah, Vital Science. Jose has a great vocal in it. Actually, a very strong one. And this one is by JP Candela and uh, and we still got it. And I believe uh, JP Candela. Um, and also one of my favorite releases, I believe, in, must have been in 2015 or 16. I'm not sure anymore. Uh, Morenita was called back then on this sample, and uh, I believe it was released back then on Cartel Music. Um, so yeah, I'm very thankful we took out for this one. And up next, yeah, up next we have a very special situation because with the next track that is coming up is basically technically these are two tracks. 
So technically speaking, we are not at 28, but on 29 tracks. And the only reason is uh, this upcoming drop here. A very strong one. By the Bossman Crida, which is I believe also the only track that uh, made it into my year mix. On the Beach uh, was already released uh, at the end of December 2020. But uh, there was also a sax uh, edit release. Um, uh, and uh, who's on the saxophone here? Uh, uh, Jen Jamin, exactly. So Jen Jamin on the saxophone. Um, but uh, this version did not have the first drop. So I kind of edited it together. So it has like this first drop and then the saxophone. And the saxophone was released in... Um, in so the saxophone version was released in September. And um, and what was, was it the end of August? I'm not sure anymore. Uh, but uh, it was really at a time where I was on vacation in September at the Italian coast, um, but more towards the north, so not far away from Venice. Yeah. And yeah, there's a sax in the background. And this really, this was kind of my one of my summer hits. Really, I was listening to it the whole summer. I was enjoying it so much. Um, uh, the whole summer and uh, like this whole week where I was there and I was really listening to it very often and yeah and I believe I even did like a um, like a uh, some stories with on the beach in the background uh, and yeah and it's definitely one of my highlights uh, this year this sex edit but yeah I believe I also enjoyed very much Crider's remix of East Soul for example uh, which he did together with Tom Starr I believe um, So yeah, mm. that was definitely one of my favorites, um, and yeah, and in general, like, Cryder um, um, released much music, very much music, uh, many tracks this past year, and now he stopped with Criteria, and I'm actually very surprised that he did that, because he did it out of nowhere, with, these, with this monster 5-hour mix, which I'm not done yet, uh, this thing I'm at hour 3 at the moment. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna be um, listening to it, to, to the whole one. But yeah, so far the first two hours where I'm through, uh, they're absolutely amazing. And they also made me think which tracks I missed in my year mix. Because he had this brilliant idea to do a 128 track year mix and not 28. So 100 more than I have. And his mix is over five hours long. So you can imagine that, like how long. Uh, that took, um, but yeah, it's just how it is. That's how we um, choose some. I'm, I hope that there's something coming um, that will uh, that will that, as a substitute for criteria. That's what I wanted to say. So let's hope uh, for maybe another radio show, maybe a bit of a different concept. So I, I have no idea. I have no idea what's coming because I'm really, really regular, uh, regularly listening to criteria and. Yeah, tomorrow is the first, or probably the first night we found criteria of uh, any uh, show by Crider. And what am I supposed to do now on Wednesday nights, right? Because the Wednesday nights from 10 p.m. they were always planned with criteria. Yeah, but up next this is kind of a, a little uh, summer block here. It's Guantanamera by, sorry, by Kato Anaya. Uh, that was released on. Um, on cartel music, exactly. So uh, yeah, I'm also listening regularly to cartel uh, radio by Kato Naya, and this was definitely, yeah. Well, it was not definitely my favorite. So there were really some many many contenders for my favorite cartel release this this year. I mean, there was also this amazing track by uh, by Ob. Uh, techno music, I believe it was called, um, and um, and w what else we had? We had um, uh, on cartel music. Uh, oh, what was that one? The one track called? Um, how was on, on cartel music still? Um, yeah, Belessa, Belessa, exactly. Belessa was also another amazing track um, by Federico Scalvo, I believe was. Um, yeah, Kato Anaya is uh, absolutely an amazing producer, yes, absolutely, it's, it's definitely one of my favorites and uh, uh, when I was start, when I was 
when I started listening to his sets and his music, he really like kept his Latin house vibes so, so amazingly. Like he's really the best on uh, at it. And I saw many uh, live sets by him already, and I listen every week to the uh, Cartel Radio Show. And uh, this one goes only for 30 minutes, um, which is like the difference to um, to uh, to the usual one-hour shows or two-hour shows. But yeah, it's always very enjoyable and like to have a chat with him in the, the chat section. So yeah, absolutely cool. Very cool. Here's a second drop. Guantira. So yeah, absolutely cool. Love it. So yeah, it was just the perfect, it was one of, one of the uh, summer tracks that I was listening to when I was in Italy on the beach. Yeah, and I believe now, from this part on, uh, really I believe this is my favorite part in the mix. From this track on, uh, that's coming up, usually I start here and then I listen to the whole mix. So the last 40 minutes are my absolute favorite in the mix, so definitely stay tuned if you want to really have a view of my favorite tracks of the year, because this one... So th there are, how many are left? Uh, 10 tracks, so... And these are roughly my top 10, I would say. Uh, maybe with a few exception exceptions, but... Yeah. Uh, and the first one of these, of these tracks is... You can already hear it from the vocal, maybe you know it. Bob Sinclair featuring Steve Edwards' World Hold On, the Tom Star remix. Which also had great... Uh, uh, also had some great impact on YouTube, I was uh, reading some uh, comments there, how people like their, this new version of World Hold On. And yeah, this is actually very, uh, un very an unusual sound for Bob Sinclair, I would say, with this kind of a piano vibe. But to me, one of my absolutely favorite tracks of the year. <sighs> Love it. Sick bass line, sick melody. So it's one of the second Piano House tracks next to uh, Sleepless by D.O.D. And the second drop is even better because then he's, he's playing around with the vocal. I stop playing around but like actually kind of like he drops it on a... Uh, the, the, the timing is perfect for, for the drop. So, yeah. Maybe we can skip it a bit forward. We'll have to answer to the children of the sky. So definitely my favorite release by Tom Star this year. Because, uh, well, he his music is a bit different nowadays, I would say. Um, so, yeah. But I enjoyed it a lot, so... It's definitely one of my... Um, one of my favorites uh, um, this year. And, yeah, I hope that he's coming back to this sound as well. That he's not only, like, kind of uh, doing trends from now on. Uh, which is also very cool, like, his production uh, skill is very high. But, like, it's not... And they're not the, those feelings anymore, which I used to have on his music. This open up your heart, tell me. Yeah, and I love how he amazingly built this track, or like the instrumental around the vocal. So and with these uh, whistles, especially because his whistles are iconic in the world. Hold on, I would say. So sing it loud. Sing it loud, sing it proud, sing it out loud. So, yeah. And I love how he really builds up the drop in this part here. So, this is definitely, it's always one of my favorite parts of, of this year mix. Um, so, actually, I, I, I liked the track a lot when, I was released, when it was released in May, but only when, when I put it into my year mix, I kind of realized really the beauty of it, how, and how amazing it is, and how well produced, and how. Uh, genius, genius, you know, and actually the track also is here. This part here. Wow! What a drop! Sick! Uh, sick, like, kind of uh, vocal drop, actually, into the, like, the vocals, the, the, where, the, where the drop actually comes into the vocals. This is such a great idea, and, uh, yeah. I enjoyed it really, really a lot. Uh, especially how it actually fit into the mix as well. Uh, also in my year mix. 
So yeah. So that's that. That's World Hold On by Tom Star. Uh, remix by Tom Star, right? And we have. Uh, yeah. Uh, up next, uh, something that maybe more people would know. Uh, it's actually a rather commercial track, I would say. But not as much. Um, I believe in some countries it was uh, very strong when it was streaming. But uh, I believe it's, it's maybe uh, like the mix down of it is a bit maybe too clubby for it to be really, really uh, a radio hit. But I like that very much because that means it stood a bit more underground, I would say. And uh, but yeah, I believe it was very, very popular in some playlists on Spotify. Uh, the new version of uh, Rasputin by Bonnie M. This version is by Majestic and that was released on Neutron. And I love how he actually used uh, the instruments and this whole mix basically of the original um, to build around this uh, very housey track. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, definitely one in my, in my top five this year, for sure. So I would not actually say a very specific number because it's very tough because actually up next there are some different sounds so yeah but very very enjoyable absolutely enjoyable so so it has like a bit of this kind of a um, radio approach I would say but still you know very very enjoyable when it's about the vocal so and then when it drops, it's a lot. I was a bit too fast here. On drop. Yeah. So yeah, really, really, really cool idea, and uh, yeah, very enjoyable job. So uh, also one of these tracks, I came back to it over and over again. So uh, yeah. And also like, especially that was the arrangement here that he drops here with the vocal, and then it, there's another. Instrumental drop. So also when it's about this very amazingly uh, put together when it's about the arrangement. So really cool idea. And then there, the next part that was coming the vocal up. To be honest, I'm, I'm actually tired already of this whole speaking, but we have still eight tracks to go, and I would definitely want to finish it. So bear with me. But I hope you still enjoy it because I'm I'm trying to enjoy it, but I'm actually from this, if, if I'm not used to it, to this, to be speaking for one and a half hours, and it kind of makes you tired, right? So, yeah. But you know it works. So then we have like another another drop here, and then um, I'm having a very um, uh, coming up. Maybe I can uh, talk a bit ahead of myself. There are two albums coming up, or two compilations, rather, I would say. Um, and uh, one from one of these compilations, I took. Uh, three tracks into the mix and from another one two tracks and uh, actually the fact that I took 28 tracks allow me to do that because otherwise I would not be able to do this um, at least I think so and um, yeah and uh, the first compilation I'm, I'm talking about here is Electromac Electromac is a compilation by No Mana, which was released on No Mana, which was released on Mousetrap in September, and it was also released at the time where I was in Italy. And I really fell in love with three tracks, especially. So there were many, many tracks, or many, many, I don't know, four tracks or so, um, already as singles before the whole compilation dropped. But there's an amazing preview where there are really all drops in there. Um, and my favorite, and I believe the, this would be my number three of the year, I would say, or maybe it was together with Rasputin, so X equal, so say, same amount of points, is Old School Sound by James Eckford. Check this out. Ah, oh, this is so sick. And this really reminded me of, um, uh, this reminded me of, um, this old school electro house, which I used to love like 10 years ago or so. But in a, I would say, 2021 edition. So really a bit like updated, um, uh, how to phrase this, updated um, uh, 
sound design, updated mix, uh, updated master, absolutely greatly done. Um, put, in, put an insane, I'm definitely sure he put an insane amount of work into it, the way it sounds, because it's so clean that I haven't heard this clean Electro House uh, track uh, in a long, long time. And with long time, I mean like six or seven years. Um, uh, because uh, especially like how the, the, the sub bass, uh, wow, amazing, I love it. Uh, yeah, uh, Mosaic is here, thank you very much for joining. Uh, just in time for Electromac, uh, I believe my favorite compilation. Uh, ah, two, I have two favorite compilations this year. I have Electromac and the, the other one, which you probably already know because I, uh, it, was, it, it, was a, it was a gift by a producer that he gave me. A hard copy of the compilation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come to this in a bit. Um, but first, I, I'm gonna be playing now three tracks from this compilation from, from Electromag by Nomena. And the first one is by James Eckbert. Then the second one is I need to check this out here um, by Eddie, and the third one by Elac. Uh, those are the producers. And yeah, very very enjoyable tracks. And also like here with this, uh, this melody in the background, the affixes, uh, so that was the, 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 that was what I meant in the description with the revival of Electro House. This compilation really made me really, wow, made me think, wow, this is amazing. So, yeah, uh, this is, uh, this was my favorite track of the compilation, then the second and the third one are coming up. One after another in the mix. So this was old school house, uh, old, old school sound by uh, what's again James Eckford exactly. And up next there is um, yeah there is uh, here this track Cake Control by Eddie. So and we already hear it there. Also, um, very sick, strong uh, electro drop. Control. And this part here as well. It's sick as well. So, very, very enjoyable. And yeah, I'm very happy that uh, yeah, this track made it here. I also like this part here as well, so very, very uh, diverse and uh, yeah. And also here the breakdown reminds me also a bit of Dead Mouse here, so uh, I'm sure Dead Mouse and the guys at Mousetrap really had an amazing uh, time putting together this compilation. So, yeah. And I also like here those uh, little melodies here as well. So I'm gonna skip for it a bit now, so we can come earlier to a close. You can listen still to the full track on Mixcloud, and I've also put together a uh, Spotify playlist if you prefer this way. Um, uh, but I believe there are a bit of different mixes at some point, but of course they're not all extended and whatever. I prefer my my ear mix to be honest, so definitely mix. For me, Mixcloud would be the way to go. Yeah, and the third and last track of this compilation that I'm gonna um, play you here in my year mix. Uh, but I gotta say, all of them are amazing. So definitely like, check out the whole compilation Electromag by No Mana on Mousetrap. It's Elac with Blair. Take it off. Yeah, that was. And I believe so, I, I heard this whole um, preview on YouTube and I thought. Wow, one track after another, one drop after another, so sick electro drops. And these three were standing out for me. And that's why these three made it into the year mix. And the amount of tracks 28 allowed me to do that. Um, otherwise, there would be only old school sound in it. Um, so, yeah, that is Elac with Blair. And, yeah, also a great breakdown here. Very atmospheric. Um, so yeah, also they really took an effort also to think about uh, some atmospheric sounds and breakdown, yeah? So that you really have a, uh, a true breakdown, not only just like a, so you can take a breath uh, from, from the drop, but also here like to enjoy this, this kind of breakdown here. Just give it a bit 
bit of drop here. So, as I've told you, very, very creative. Um, and I hope for more Electro House in 2022. That would be sick. Like, uh, I've already posted it on my Insta story uh, around 24 hours ago. That, um, that, um, that uh, we are celebrating an anniversary this year, the 10th anniversary of 2012, uh, 2012, the golden year of progressive, as we say. That was really the peak of Swedish House Mafia, Hardwell. Maybe Hardwell was maybe even later, was, was 13, 14. Uh, but definitely Swedish House Mafia was definitely at peak in 2012. Um, uh, but actually, but I, I believe they expanded very early, right? I believe it wasn't. 13 or whatever this time, I can't, I can't remember anymore, it was 12 or 13. I believe it was 13, I believe, mean, because um, I'm, I cannot remember whether they spent it in 12 or 13 for the first time and now. And now they they kind of made a, a like, they did like this, uh, this tour where they, where they came back and then now I'm, I'm having already a ticket for, for Switch House Mafia concert in Vienna, but not sure whether it's gonna happen. And everything yeah. We'll see. So now a very controversial track. A controversial, not in the sense because it's strange, but if you watch closely the release date of this track, you may realize it was released for the first time in November 2020. So why is it in 2021? Uh, I, I thought it was re-released on the second compilation we're gonna talk about now quickly, Crida uh, Metaverse Volume One. Criteria Metaverse, uh, and yeah, and um, and yeah, uh, and therefore you was absolutely amazingly put into the mix. I just very much enjoyed it. It's very emotional, um, and on, on the compilation it was played a bit uh, faster. I believe it was 124, 25, 26 BPM. And the original was a bit slower, and if you turn it, like turn the, like the tempo a bit up, it's very emotional, very uh, uh, yeah. I like, I like like how the vocals uh, actually uh, also like a bit of melancholy in it. So a bit melancholy as well. well. This track was definitely one of my favorites of the compilation and the next one I'm playing. But in general, the compilation uh, just like a great idea with many tracks from Criteria, from Susumi, uh, everything in there. So I'm really hoping that uh, Chris is gonna make a um, a um, uh, a second installment of Criteria uh, Metaverse that would be very amazing and I would really appreciate it. So, like the vocal here is very strong. This, yeah, I'll be there, this, I'll be there for you. So. And the second drop as well. So. The way I saw on the compilation is really, it just fit great into the mix and uh, it's, it's somewhere in the middle, because I can't remember exactly, but yeah, Club Wild did an amazing job on this one and I definitely wanted to appreciate it because it's really a track that uh, was, I believe, next to the, to the one that's coming up, uh, the most emotional one on this uh, Criteria Metaverse uh, compilation. And of course, huge shoutouts to Kreider for uh, handing me over a hard copy of this when I was in Slovakia to see him live in Banska Pisica at the Ministry of Fun. And yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, and I'm very thankful that, uh, yeah. that, uh, yeah, that we managed to uh, meet to meet again to, to witness uh, uh, a set of him live because he was not at ADE this year which kind of made me maybe a bit sad because there was really somebody missing during the year. And yeah, up next, um, also a track was already released in February, I believe. Um, and uh, yeah, it's called Into the Sunrise and it's by Eddie Fonick and James Walsh on the vocals, which was released on both Criteria and Black Hole because the whole compilation was released on Black Hole. Um, recordings. Um, and yeah, it's very emotional. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, and especially when the atmosphere 
quite a quite then. Wow, amazing. So yeah, uh, absolutely great work. Um, unusual sound. Um, and yeah, very happy that Eddie uh, is back and hope for more music next year from him. And definitely one of my two favorites, I've already mentioned, compilations, uh, like tracks um, on this uh, Criteria Metaverse compilation. Yeah. And with a very strong vocal as well. And the breakdown coming up is also very cool. So, yeah, very atmospheric. It's really breaking it down. There's only one effect or so. A bit, yeah. One little melody and uh, a few fixes here and there. Yeah. And this is actually the fourth last track. Three tracks left. Uh, with. Uh, uh, how to phrase this? My number two, my number one. That's I'm very sure about. Yeah. The synth, absolutely listen. They are amazing on Into the Sunrise. And then a track which usually wouldn't be there, but uh, it is there under the. for two reasons, the last track. One, um, uh, uh, it fits great as the final track of the mix. And two, I won't be lying to myself. Because, uh, well, I, I liked it, although, well, uh, it is a bit questionable. Uh, so let's finish now with Into the Sunrise. With this emotional second drop. And I believe it's also at the end of the compilation, I believe it's the second to last track on the compilation. Um, so also like a great, um, yeah, second second to last track, this is the last track, this is the one by CD Crash, the breakbeat track. Because the whole compilation goes like for around one hour, I believe, for the 60 minutes. Uh, yeah, because there's like this criteria 300 and you can rewatch like the metaverse uh, concept there. And I'm very interested in what uh, it's gonna be. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's gonna have a second volume because it's an absolutely great idea. And yeah, all the best also for Friday in 2022. And let's hope that we're gonna have a new radio show in 2022 after Criteria, maybe Metaverse Radio. Who knows? This is an idea because I cannot imagine that he's gonna stop with the uh, radio show for good. There's gonna be something else, but yeah, we'll see what, what it's going to be. Into the sunrise. Comics, I would say. Yeah, number two this year, I would say. Uh, number three is both uh, uh, old school sound and Rasputin, I would say. Oh. Tala Manka. And I heard this twice or three times live this year, and every time I freaked out. Okay, maybe not the first time, because the first time I felt how an amazing power it has on stage, but the second time, and the third time, Fatboy Slim played it uh, live at the club, in the Club O here in Vienna. I freaked out, really. It was amazing, it was such an amazing experience. It was definitely, so when it was not about, I don't know, a bit more of a feeling, uh, like more positive feeling to the second to the track afterwards, this would be my number one. But about the live experience, similarly, like this track is my number one. This. Wow, this is amazing. My goodness, so emotional. And yeah, feeling basically every single uh, melody on, on this one. Absolutely love this track. Uh, very emotional every time someone dropped it, and I heard it I mean, three or four times live on a very good sound system. And I really felt the bass line and the melody and the arrangement as well. So, yeah, let me know what you think about uh, this track or this compilation in general as we are heading towards a close here. Nine minutes to go, roughly, on this mix here. I enjoyed very much reviewing, although I gotta say I'm very tired already. <laughs> Because um, well, uh, I'm definitely not gonna do, I believe, a two-hour year mix next year. I believe max would, will be 90 minutes. Uh, 
But yeah, I enjoyed this mix so much. I, I, I was so happy when I finished this and when I heard it, and then I thought, wow, so much amazing music was released this year, and also uh, music that I really enjoyed um, uh, over the past um, uh, over the past year, and uh, that I also experienced live as well. I'm so thankful for this year that uh, we somehow managed to to be at ADE, to be at, at, at a festival in the summer, to the clubs are open again. But I'm really hoping that um, that we can open quickly, but yeah, with Omicron, it's really tough to say at the moment. And there's even another layer on it that even makes it more emotional. And I believe the worst case would be that the clubs will open again in July, just like last year. So in, I believe uh, clubs opened in uh, Vienna on July 1st, 2021. Um, and then they closed again on, oh my goodness, in November, I believe. Either October or November. Uh, because they were a full lockdown back then. Uh, And I wanted to go, uh, there was a purple disco machine playing on the last uh, week of the night. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, on the last week before the lockdown. But I didn't manage to, um, uh, yeah, I, I was just uh, not in the mood to go to the club because it was already locked, almost locked down and yeah. And, uh, and now the clubs are again, you know, cannot open up and uh, the government's help is not, is not uh, arriving as far as I heard. So yeah, tough times, but hope the latest in July that we can open up again. Um, yeah, Show Love, my number one track of the year, if I had to, cha to, to uh, choose one, by Anna Post and Moment Ray, released on Spinning. When I first heard it, I believe I've heard the track I heard for the first time was, I believe, a preview on Beatport, and I was hitting the replay button on the uh, uh, preview on Beatport, like, 20 or 30 times when I heard it for the first time. And then Crida played it on Criteria as well. So... And I love how the vocals got looped so amazingly. Uh, it's basically a, um, a sample. And I heard this track this year, I don't know, 200 times, 100 times. Very often, very often. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, I loved how he played around with the sample, and I love the instruments of this one. Absolutely amazing disco proc infusion and mix, just so clean and so emotional. This track I did not hear live this year, but it's still I would say my favorite of the year because the arrangement, the bass lines, so warm was this part here. So yeah, and the bass line makes you really shake, and that's what it's all about in electronic music or in house music. So yeah, um, I'm very thankful that you've been here um, for this special episode of the Music House. Thank you very much for watching over on Twitch. Sorry that I cannot answer to your comments. If you have some, I will uh, check it out now after the live stream is over. But like the distortions in the sound, I have something with my laptop is going on, unfortunately. So. We're not, uh, I cannot do anything besides streaming. I cannot uh, do like research or whatever on my on my laptop. So I'll definitely try to make it better next time. Um, but I'll look it up afterwards. Uh, so thank you very much if you're watching over on Twitch. Um, thank you very much. Instagram, very active. Facebook was also there. Um, yeah, I uh, hope that you're having a great 2022. Let's hope that it's gonna be better than this past year. And, uh, yeah, all the best. I wish you all the best for 2022. Let's hope that we can meet each other again, that we can uh, uh, travel again uh, to some of our favorite clubs and festivals in summer. And that's show up. Yeah, I also love this. That's the thing. This, that's the thing. This is for This vocal. So you're around. You're my dick now. And I found out that there actually uh, he took two lines and shuffled the words around those two lines in the sample. Great idea. Loved it. 
So, but as you already know, there's one track left on this uh, year mix here. On my 2021, on my 20 tracks that kept my level of optimism high. And this is a track where I said, well, I won't be lying to myself, I like the track. To me it sounds like a guilty pleasure, but it's still electronic music, we all know the iconic trio. And I believe you already know who am I talking about. This year was of course the huge, kind of, third, third already comeback, I would say, of, yeah, this trio, which we'll hear now. Now I tried actually to kind of filter out uh, the track, because the next track has no uh, like intro, because there's no extended mix available, and that's how it sounded like. So, I won't be lying to myself, this is my last track of the mix. It's called Lifetime, and it's by Swedish House Mafia featuring Ty Dollar Sign and O70 Shake. I like the track, for some reason, don't ask me why. Uh, from all the three tracks that the guys released, so we had uh, It Gets Better, Lifetime and Moth to a Flame, this was definitely my favorite. When it's about the originals. Um, I believe Dub Vision did some amazing job on the on remixing two, two of those, I believe. I believe it gets better. And uh, yeah, it gets better was the, the Stockholm version, the intro of the um, of the concerts on the 3rd, 4th and 5th, I believe, or was it 2nd, 3rd and 4th uh, of May, was it May? I believe, 2019. So uh, where was this huge comeback concert of Swedish House Mafia? It was also leaked, but it was leaked in November, very late in the year, and it did not have such an impact on me. And also maybe who was also missing uh, this year was, uh, for example, Eric Pritz, uh, Christoph. Uh, with Christoph I have a huge problem, uh, because he's amazing, his tracks are amazing, but his best tracks are basically his edits. And he's not releasing these edits, because, well, these are bootlegs, basically, and yeah. He makes them seems like only for his sets or maybe some DJs to send around, but they never made made it. He never makes them publicly available. So uh, he has some amazing re releases, for example, on Pride of Presents, but they did not have like this impact, like for example, Nopus by Eric Pritz last year. So also there, there are some names missing, obviously, some progressive guys missing. Um, but yeah, um, it's just how I decided and I, I did not feel uh, so much on these tracks. Uh, so yeah, this, this was kind of my uh, sheet here with my uh, tracks. This is how it looked like. 20 tracks that kept my level of optimism high in 2021. Uh, thank you very much for watching. It was amazing. Um, uh, yeah, no, I don't like Moth to a Flame. Moth to a Flame is just too slow for me and too kind of too deep. Also, like, kinda, I don't feel it as much. I feel lifetime more uh, because it has like a bit of a more driving beat, but it's it's very slow. So um, you know, Swedish House Mafia I fell in love with was one was the very child. Guys don't want to to make this kind of uh, music anymore, but yeah, we have to respect this and um, hope for better remixes in that case. And some of them are really really good, but again, uh, uh, again. Um, yeah, uh, some of them are not released, so which is also very unfortunate. But yeah, uh, Yasin, thank you very much for uh, being in here until the end. Thank you very much for all the others who are tuning in, even if it was only a couple of minutes. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, wish you all again a happy new year, 2022. Hope to see you soon somewhere around in Europe, in at a club, at a, at a festival. But yeah, well, not sure how long this will take with, uh, the, pan uh, with the pandemic. Let's stay optimistic. And yeah, uh, have a great evening, have a great week and hope to see you very, very soon. Thank you very much for joining. It was amazing. Thanks and goodbye.